recipes so that we're more accomplished in our kitchen. Well, this show has been on the air for 10 years. They are currently in their 10th season. This book has every recipe from every episode of the show for 10 seasons. There are 400 recipes in this book. Every one of these recipes were tested a minimum of 30 times before they were allowed to go on the show and before they made it into the book. So you got everything in this book from appetizers to salads, breads, main dishes, desserts, all of it. I can also tell you that this book, like everything in our show today, is on four pay or better. This is four easy payments of $5.49. Already 500 have been spoken for. And I'm shipping the first group out on August 29th. And I'm already very limited in what I have left that can ship there. Then we're moving to September 15th. So just give us a couple extra weeks and we'll get this book out to you. There is a color photo with every single recipe. We're also excited to tell you that we've got one of the stars of the show with us, Julia Davison is back with us. Hello. Hi, friend. Oh, so nice to see you. Mwah. You know what? This is so exciting because I call Julia a walking food encyclopedia. <laughs> she knows everything. And what she doesn't know, she can quick find the answer to. That's true. This is an amazing book because it's Thank the you. culmination of your fabulous show. Yep. And it brings every one of the recipes from all 10 seasons together. These are the ones that made the cut. That's it. And you know, every recipe, as you mentioned, we cook at least 30 times. Wow. We're, we're testing them to make sure they're foolproof. We like to say, we make the mistake so the home cook doesn't have to. And there's little tricks you learn. As when you cook, you learn a little something when you make it again and again. Mm. And there's a lot of tricks on this table. I'm going to get you eating. Let's get busy. All right. So this is by far my favorite dessert for potlucks. Okay. Um, I serve it every and Christmas it's right party. Here, right? Yes. This is called the chocolate eclair. Oh, how you doing? And so I love to bake, but this is really simple. It's graham crackers. Yeah. You make a quick uh, vanilla pudding. You whip in a little cream, and the top is just this gorgeous chocolate ganache. You let it set up overnight, so it's a refrigerator cake. And you know what? This was just no out of the baking. fridge, so the oh. chocolate is nice and oh. firm. Oh, but I, well, once you get started, you're not going to be able to stop. Oh, oh, how are you oh, doing? Oh, oh hello. Oh. oh, just pass that over here. All right, right? <laughs> so this yeah. is chocolate eclair So cake. good. My, my family goes nuts for this when we have a little family party. And it's so easy. It's not mm -hmm. it's not making mm -hmm. batters and mm -hmm. baking. It's graham uh -huh. crackers, but homemade vanilla mm -hmm. pudding. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's it's a it, it's an it's a showstopper. All right. Yeah. You know what? We're barely into the show. I'm just gonna bust out the happy dance right now. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Wow. That's the happy dance. All right. <laughs> All right. So what was that, Sean? I already have an update for you. Mm. Okay. I have 900 left that I can ship out on August 29th. And then we're going to move to an advanced order date of uh, September 15th. Yep. Okay, so this is your fried chicken. This is the best fried chicken in the world. Hands down. The best down. fried chicken this in the world. This is the fried chicken I make. It's batter fried chicken. Okay, and this is the chicken right That's here, right? It. And so when you make the batter, it's not like you're dredging it in flour. You're making a batter with cornstarch and flour. Yeah. Oh, pick off the pick off this. Yeah, it's let's all get, about get the some coating. Crust. It's all about the coating. And so it, it's a batter. And when you mix it, it's so it's 50 cornstarch, 50% flour. A little enough water to make it look like heavy cream. And you dredge it in the batter. Oh, it's so good and crunchy. Yes. The, also, it's the crispest fried chicken, but also it yes. has amazing make ahead. You can fry this the day before, refrigerator, you put it in the oven, it's like it's freshly fried. That is so marvelous. So if you're having mm. a party or you're having a barbecue, this is the one I use. Oh my gosh, let me grab a little bit of a towel. Mm. Okay, I have uh, how many left to ship now? 500. Uh, can we do uh, enchiladas? Yes. Oh, that's the one that I love oh, so right. much oh. that you did before. Yeah, for me. so these are the um, cheese oh. enchiladas. Oh. And so a cheese enchilada, you know, you have cheese, but it's really all about the sauce. I'm going to get some extra sauce there on there. Oh. So the sauce has a little bit of ancho chilies. Oh, nice. And, so yeah, a little extra flavor. Yeah, and so it's really all about the sauce. And a trick when you're making enchiladas, because you know sometimes you roll them up and the tortillas crack? Mm. Uh, put the tortillas in the microwave quickly. Warm them up before you roll them. They won't crack on you and they're I easier. I do that sometimes when I'm doing um, doing soft tacos and yes. things like that. I'll yep. moisten them ever so slightly mm -hmm. and warm them in the microwave. You're exactly right. That's it. And that makes it really easy to make enchiladas. Mm. I know, isn't that good? Oh, baby girl, it's so good. <laughs> I know, it's just cheese enchiladas, and it's but so it's the great. little tricks that make all the difference. We now, just sold out of everything we can ship at the end of August. Okay. We have now moved to the September yeah. 15th ship week. That's not that far all right, away. I'm going to reach over here and get myself a little, a little antibacterial wipe. Now, 
before, I know we're going to show the inside of the book. Yes, and that's going to be next. But this is, it's a silly little recipe. It's coleslaw, right? But it's not coleslaw with mayonnaise. It's called a sweet and sour coleslaw. It's vinegar and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of green apple. Mm. It is the best coleslaw. And this is the one I bring. And it's little recipes like this that people remember. I remember I had a party and a neighbor came over and I gave him this. And every time I see him, he says, how's that coleslaw? How's that coleslaw? He, how's that the coleslaw? The apple makes it so, yes. so fresh. And it's recipes like that that you need in your repertoire. You don't need a lot of coleslaw recipes, just a good one. You guys, look at this. Every single recipe has a color photo. Many of the recipes have what are called progressive photos. And I'll show you one of those when we get to it. Because that'll have little photos of what it should look like along the way as you're making it. All oh, those ribs. And the ribs oh. are amazing. There's the chicken we talked mm. about, the pork chops, the great pasta dishes. We get into fall comfort food season, and this book becomes your go to. Yep. 2,800 books are gone. You should also know this is shipping out on which day? September 15th. Mm -hmm. The Tennessee whiskey pork <gasps> chops. You brine them for an hour in Hitting the whiskey. Me. Oh, it tastes so good. Get in the back here. You'll see uh, uh, lots of recommendations for mm -hmm. different brands and utensils. Great recipes are included. Fried peach oh. and pie. Oh, they're so good. You know what? The best thing you use frozen peaches for that. And you cook. Oh, you do? Yes, yeah, so you can have them anytime. And there are the progressive photos I was telling you about mm. on some of the recipes. Now, one thing that Cook's Country does also is they give us recommendations on what they think are the best brands to use of some particular ingredients. Yes, because we test them. We take ingredients, say every chicken broth you ever found at the store, we taste them straight, we taste them in soup, and we rate them as to what they taste. And you know, brands matter. It's amazing when you make a soup with a good brand. Of broth and a bad brand. So of that's broth. the soy sauce. That's the brand of soy yes. sauce you recommend. That that's a and good steak one. sauce. Ooh. Oh, and that's the condensed milk you like. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this one. Oh, and that's the the oh. tea you recommend. Oh, for iced tea, that one's the best. Now I, I can't tell all. you what those brands are because you have to buy the book. <laughs> that's true. But they're in there, and there are pictures of them. Yes. How many are gone now? 3,500 books are gone. Is All this right. skillet lasagna? Yes, yeah, so this is one of my Yum. favorite recipes because lasagna is such a favorite, but it's a pain to make. But you can do this all right in the skillet. In fact, you cook the noodles, the noodles, the noodles right in there. So you make it, and you can do it in a cast iron skillet. You can do it in a regular non-stick skillet. And there's a little bit of ricotta on the top oh, nice. with a little bit of fresh herbs. It has all the flavors of lasagna, but none of the work. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Isn't that good? It's just, it's a weeknight. You can have this yes. on the table in about half an hour, mm. give or take five minutes. I know, lasagna in half an hour, and it tastes like it's the real deal. Oh. Happy dance, <laughs> happy dance. That's a skill of lasagna, oh. happy dance. Oh, I taught this to my brother who's a bachelor, and he makes this about once a week, and then he has enough left over for a couple more meals. Mm. It's great for, you know, uh, so college hearty. kids. Right. Yeah, and it's a single one pot. And you know thing. what it is? It's a Tuesday night dinner with yes. only one pot to wash, That's right? That's it. Now this, mm. I know you're a southern boy, so I'm going to call this dressing, not That's right. stuffing. And this actually you take the G off the end, it's dressing. Dressing. Mm. <laughs> so this is cornbread dressing with a little bit of andouille. Andouille. Oh, so good. Again, made right in My the My director, Mike, we sent some up to him the last That's time right. we were on the show, <laughs> yeah. and he, he just got my hair and he was like, and it was good. <laughs> Mm. With the southern accent. Mm. Oh, well, the, and the thing about making dressing, whether it's stuffing or dressing. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you're wiggling. Mm. It's a happy wiggle. <laughs> That's a disco wiggle. I know. Um, is you got to dry the bread out. You can get around it. Whether you dry it in the oven, you let it stale overnight, you have to dry the bread. These tips are all mm. inside the book. Now, now this... 5,000 books are gone. Take a look here. Oh. This is skillet. Chocolate chip oh, cookie, is that right? Or skillet yes, brownie? Yes, skillet chocolate chip cookie. So it's our winning chocolate chip cookie dough, which has one trick. So it's a homemade chocolate oh, chip cookie. Oh, yeah. Dough. Oh, yeah. And it's really easy. There's no mixer involved. Just It's a bowl method. And mm. of course, you use the skillet because you brown the butter. Oh, it's soft. And you brown the butter. Yes, you brown the butter and then the mm. melted butter and it's browned. It mm -hmm. adds this caramel layer. Mm -hmm. It is, I know. And then you don't worry about mm -hmm. forming little cookies. Just throw it in a skillet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cookie disco. Woo, is that so good? <laughs> All, right, All right, now I saved kind of one of my favorites for Because you might get a triple out of me today because I know this is that good. <laughs> yes. Now you all have all had strawberry pie at mm. some point before. Yes. You've had it in summertime when strawberries are a bumper crop mm -hmm. and we love them. Mm-hmm. Turn this to the side. I want everyone to see oh, this pie. This pie is so good. Julia introduced this pie to me, I guess it's been, what, about a month ago yep, now? that's right. This, I will tell you. Leslie, hear me when I say this. 
This is the best strawberry pie I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> this strawberry, you've had this strawberry pie, haven't you, Leslie? It's, yes, it is. It's crazy good. I stand good. by that. Because you don't use pre-made gelatin that flavored, that's flavored like strawberries. You buy regular you, unflavored gelatin. Yes, and then you take some frozen strawberries and you mash them down with the gelatin and then you throw in the sliced strawberries. It is like summer in your mouth, that pie. Mm. I know, this is definitely a September, late August And pie. with the pastry crust oh. on the bottom, Yes, the way a good I southern know. person decided uh, this should be because that's why I always had it growing up. <laughs> yep. This is the bomb diggity. Mm -hmm. This is the third happy dance oh, in no. the Copeland <laughs> Corner today. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. I know, so 6, good. 6,500 books are gone. Oh. Mm. Now, you've that's never, you've mm. never, mm. I know, mm. I'm not going to get that pie. Mm. Maybe I'll just eat mm. this. So, you eat that. All right. And this uh, is what? tenderloin. So tenderloin, a very expensive cut of meat. Right. And this is where all that recipe testing really comes in handy. Because when you buy this cut of meat, it's for a holiday. You don't want to mess it up. We've tested all these ways. And look at this. It has What's these, the topping? Oh, okay, try. Here, let me get a Garlicky pull. breadcrumbs. And, and it looks, is there, um, is there uh, herbs in there? Are there yeah, herbs? Yeah, herbs and garlicky breadcrumbs. And they're, it's so easy. There's no searing. You just roast it, and then you put the crumbs on top. Oh, it is oh, the yeah. best tasting tenderloin. Come on. Yeah, no, and you can cut it with a fork. It's so tender. There's so much flavor in that yes. topping, and then that gives great flavor to mm -hmm. the meat. Yes, and it's foolproof. I mean, when you want, when you're having guests over and you spent the money, you want a foolproof recipe. 7,000 books are gone now. Mm. These are shipping on the 15th of September. Let's welcome Dini in Kentucky. Dini, how are you today? I'm doing just fine, David. Good to have you with us, and meet Julia from America's Test Kitchen, Cook's Country. Good morning, Julia. I was going to tell you, I got your cookbook last year. I had ordered two of them, and my girlfriend, I had got it for her for Christmas, and she oh, nice. loved those cat head biscuits. She oh, told me about yes. them. I made the cat yes. head biscuits, don't know how many times, and the old fashioned peach cobbler. And I, oh, yeah. loved the, I just love the ingredients, how y'all show and measure everything in the back of the book. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best cookbooks I ever had. Oh, thank you, Deanie. That means a lot to me. And yeah, those cat head biscuits, they're amazing. They call them cat heads because they have the, they pop up on the top. They're like cat heads. Well, yeah. they're big like a cat's head, too. They're such thing and everything. Yeah. But, uh, her mother used to make them. And I said, I didn't know the, this until she told me. And I said, I just love the cookbook. It's got, so, I just love the ingredients, how y'all got it measured in the back and all the pictures of, of what you're cooking and everything. Yes, thank you. Yeah, for me, the pictures are very important. Uh, and someone once related it to um, dating. If you're gonna date a recipe, you gotta see the picture <laughs> first. Right. And so That's I feel true. strongly that you have to have a picture with every recipe. That's the way I feel about it too, Julia. Oh, well, I'm so glad. Well, thank you for your phone call today, Deanie. We're thank so excited you, Deanie. that the book is back and we've got 400 recipes inside and four wow. easy payments today, making it easy for everybody to budget. But Julia, you got to keep David under control because he, he looks like he gets out of control eating too much. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm not going to rein him in. Mm -hmm. Deanie, you know me. You've, you've <laughs> yes, seen me. You I know, know you I lose my mind. You, David. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thank you, Deanie. All right, we're going to have to wrap up on this, Deanie, but thank you so much for your phone call. And stay tuned. We've got a lot coming your way today. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's our store. Story: Over 8,200 of these are gone. Wow! And that's over half of the total quantity to be brought mm -hmm. in for the day. This Easy Pay will expire at 4:59 p.m. Eastern Time today. I'm just going to take the um, enchiladas <laughs> with me. Oh, and you know, Dee Dee said something interesting about these being old-time recipes that she never knew about, mm. and that's what Cook's Country prides itself on: mm. finding the old recipes and bringing them back. I love that you talk just enough to I get two bites in. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> My girl. Oh, we wore our red today. <laughs> hey, coming up. We in about less than 10 minutes, there are my crinkle cup fries that are frying up in that Copper Chef. Thank you, Julia. This is fantastic. We've got the great Copper Chef 11 inch. This is seven quart capacity. This is the big, big vessel. You're going to love it also that we can do it for you today on four easy payments. It's also a sale price. So be sure and stick around. You'll choose either the casserole pan that has the two handles or the stick handled, which is the saute pan. So we've got a very, very busy show. We've got a lot going on. Let me also tell you that one of the th one of my favorite segments that we just introduced a couple of months ago is a segment called David's First Bite. Wait for it. Gonna bite the cookie. There it is. All right. So what we're talking about is something new. 